Hello, I'm Jeff Lehman of Archtop Music Therapy, and this project is called Today Is. It teaches the concepts of today, yesterday, and tomorrow. The days of the week are sung in order four times. The first two times the calendar shows those letter abbreviations for each day, and the third and fourth time those letters are removed so that students focus on which column is highlighted when each word is sung. What day is it right now? Each question is sung twice for students who have attention issues or may need that extra processing time. And each answer is sung twice. So if your student doesn't know the answer, they can listen and then sing along the second time. Is the day right? calendar is just a grid of boxes, so I've used the symbol sticks visual for before to show that you start in one box and you go to the left to find the box before, which would be yesterday. The first time an answer is sung, the entire column of the correct day of the week is highlighted. The second time, one square in the column is highlighted more than the rest. And this is to signify that we're just talking about one day and not a group of days. What is the day after Monday? Near the end of each question, a visual cue is given in the form of a calendar with no text, but with the correct row highlighted. answering tomorrow or yesterday, we're referencing its position to today. So when that today word is sung, the highlighting jumps backward or forward to match the lyrics. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We've now given answers for today, yesterday, and tomorrow. And the project ends by once again reviewing all the days of the week in order. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, the project includes Monday, seven videos and seven corresponding songs, Thursday, one for each day of the week. Saturday, and there are also printable visuals. And I'll show you how you can use these with your students now. There are three different sets of flashcards included. The first one here has the calendars with highlighted columns and text abbreviations for each day of the week. The next flashcards are calendars without those text abbreviations. And finally, we have no calendar visuals, just days of the week words. The teacher may place the days of the week in order, or this may be a task for your student. Friday, Saturday. What day is today? And now we introduce the template that'll help us to answer the following questions. Now, what day is today? Many activities, such as placing the days in order, proceed from left to right. So your student may need a cue to start in the middle for today. Tuesday, Tuesday is the day right now. All of these visuals have been laminated, and there's also Velcro on the template and on the back of each day of the week. There is now a gap in our row of days, and since yesterday is to the left of today, this should be a clue to the student to find the flashcard to the left of the gap. Monday, Monday was the day before Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. Monday was the day before Tuesday. 
What is tomorrow? I used these page a day calendar visuals for the template for yesterday, today, and tomorrow. While it's very rare that these will be the actual dates on the calendar, these work well as ordinal numbers. So first came yesterday, second was today, and third is tomorrow. Wednesday is the day after Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Wednesday is the day after Tuesday. These visuals can be used along with the videos with your students matching what's on the screen. If this has been mastered, you can try using the visuals along with the song, or you may play the video or song first, and then have your student work with the visuals afterwards. If your student can sing along, that's great, but if you have a nonverbal student, this allows them a way to participate as well. Once again, I'm Jeff Lehman of Archtop Music Therapy, and this was called Today Is. Thank you for watching.